morning guys welcome to Laura's keto way of life and this morning I've got my new snazzy cup here we're gonna blitz up a quick chocolate protein smoothie let's do it to another vlog of Laura's Keto Way of Life and this morning I've just come back from the gym that's where I look half uh, sweaty and uh, crazy hair but anyway so I said to you guys last week I wanted to try and make a chocolate protein shake um, just you know I don't ever eat protein shakes um, I used to in the past where I was trying to fill myself up, stop eating so much bread in the morning. So I went and brought protein powder and then I found out I was gaining more weight and I was really um, bloated. Um, so I thought, I'm not gonna use protein powder anymore. I'm gonna ditch that and look into a different way of eating. Then I found low carb, high fat keto. So today, just for something different, just cause I wanted to try it and I have seen a lot of keto um, vlogs about you know having a chocolate um, healthy protein shake in the morning that you make yourself that's keto friendly it will fill you up longer all day I thought I'm gonna give it a try just see what it tastes like just to show you guys that if you do like protein shakes a lot of people still do use protein shakes doing keto that this might be something that you'd like to try so I'll try anything in the kitchen I like experimenting as you guys know so this morning we're gonna make a chocolate and cinnamon protein shake with coconut shavings on top so first get out your favorite cup that you'd like to drink your protein shake in I'm not gonna go for the usual shaker shaker shakers I brought this awesome cup yesterday from Audi it's so cute ah, protein that's the next thing that everyone goes what protein would I use there are some health food stores that support low carb diets and things like that so they might be good for you to go and investigate and see what type of protein powders they have I'm going to use the one that I brought last year that I still have heaps of, so I thought I might as well use it while I'm there. And because I looked at the ingredients last night, and, and it was actually surprising, it says the carbohydrates per serving, which is 30 grams, is only 1.6 grams of carbs, and the sugar per serving, which is 30 grams, is 0 0.4 grams. So it is very low in sugar and low in carbs. Okay guys, so what we'll need is coconut oil, of course, for our healthy yummy fats. I'm gonna use probably a tablespoon. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of my plant protein powder. Now, you should be using raw organic cacao powder. Mine is all empty, so I'm just gonna go with a tiny bit of this one. I'm probably gonna use one tablespoon of this one. Oh, I hope it's not too bad. Um, Okay, it's a little high in the carbs, so I'm going to use a very, very small amount. But when I go back to the health food store and restock on my raw organic cocoa powder, I'm going to get a better one than this. Of course, salt. Yes, people do go, why do you need to put salt with chocolate? Salt actually brings out the flavoring. It's really good. Chocolate and salt go good together. And I'm going to use half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon powder. And to garnish on top, shredded coconut. Woo! All right, let's go. So I'm gonna use my Camrook blender. If you don't have one of them, you might have one of the blitz and go machines that you can put in and blitz up. They're pretty good as well. But I thought I'll use my blender today just so you can see what I'm mixing as I go and see how it looks. Hello. All right, so don't forget, I'm gonna put some ice in there as well. I like it really cold, um, you know, smoothies and that. I like having a bit of ice and fresh water in it. All right, so I've just put in one tray of ice. The next thing I'm gonna put in is a bit of milk. Now, I haven't really tried almond milk because I know it's really high in calories 
and this a lot of them have a lot of chemicals in them so I'm just going to use because I don't drink milk or eat that much dairy besides cheese um, I'm only going to use a little bit of full fat cow's milk and I'm just going to add that to the mix with a bit of water just so I've got a good consistency of liquid there before I start adding everything else <music> And I just remembered the main ingredients, the protein powder. I forgot to put it in. Lucky I haven't blended it yet. Hang on. All right, take two on that. Now the protein powder's in, all of the ingredients are in. Let's blend it up. Perfect fit. All right, so it's um, lumpy from maybe the protein powder and obviously lumpy from the ice that we've blitzed up in there. Um, it smells just like coconut oil and protein powder mixed together with a hint of chocolate. I'm gonna whack in the straw and have a taste. Um, it's very thick, as I said. My straw is standing up in it, but um. The ice is slowly melting in the bottom, so it's getting very liquidy in the bottom, which which is nice. So yeah, it's something that I wouldn't have every day. I'd rather stick to my bacon and eggs, but maybe it's something different. If it was hot one night and I didn't feel like dinner, or you know, get home from the gym and I didn't want to cook anything, I wanted a, a, a protein drink instead. Um, but I think I'd rather keep getting my protein from my animals and you know, cheese sauces so thanks guys for watching and have a great day mm -hmm.